Alrighty, what's up everybody? Jonathan here with Boston Collectors. Hopefully you're doing all right. Good morning, good afternoon, all that good stuff to you. It's a little bit later in the day, so forgive me. Usually we crank these out early in the morning and you know, I just had things to do earlier, so forgive me. <laughs> Hot Toys went ahead and released Cable over in Hong Kong. Now for those of you who would like weekly updates on all things six scale related, definitely go ahead and follow us over on Instagram. We have something called Six Scale Notables. The name is TBD, but you know, regardless Regardless, we go ahead and share all of the news and updates throughout the week every Saturday for those of you who are interested. If you're not, that's totally fine. But if you are, go ahead and check us out over on Instagram at Boston Collectors. So let's go ahead and dive into the blogger photos. Now, before we really start, keep in mind a lot of the photographers, they color grade and things of that nature a little bit differently from one another. So right away though, this photo looks phenomenal. The pose looks good. The scene looks great. The lighting is phenomenal. This is, it's looking good so far the one thing about this figure though that i'm not really a fan of is sort of the bottom teeth there the gritting kind of i don't know it, it doesn't look weird but it doesn't look right to me i personally prefer either a, a full snarl or either just keeping the mouth closed the body looks good it's a custom body right so this probably took quite quite a while to perfect and it probably took quite a while to produce especially since you know 2020 happened and all of that stuff we know how it went right so one thing i want to know is josh brolin worked out really really hard for this role and when you look at the proportions of the head to the neck and everything else it just Let's go ahead and use this photo, right? I went ahead and I saved this photo because I wanted everybody to, to get a feel for just the proportion. I'm not talking about, oh, the, the vest isn't the exact quality or things like that. It's more about the neck. Notice the neck here and the neck here. I know it's kind of to the side and all of that good stuff. I understand that, but proportions, it, that it, it's not the same. The arms, I'm not really too mad at. I, I do wish that they could have maybe provided a couple different arms, maybe. You know, maybe a seamless arm, maybe a double joint arm regardless though the the arms i'm not really tripping about too too much it's more about just the proportion of the body to his head it's just he's he's got a bit of a bobblehead going on there but looking at the rest of it though the the textures on this on the face and the the markings it looks really really good i would like to know though if that's sort of a, a painted plastic or maybe is the body plastic and the arm it's got more of a die cast uh, something going on in the elbow maybe i don't know it, it's it's probably going to be more like uh, like Nebula, if you will. We have the uh, psionic shield there. We get to look at the figure in a, in a dynamic pose. Yeah, I mean, the photographers did phenomenal. The, the typical orange-blue complementary colors and, and lighting. That looks really good. I will say this, though. When you have that poncho on in comparison to that, it doesn't look bad. The poncho sort of hide the the look in his neck, if you will, that it it looks a little too small, right? Throwing that poncho on makes him look really cool. But what if there are collectors out there who would prefer to have him maybe unclothed? He'll end up looking kind of weird. So it's it's still that. I know like some people are like, oh man, you know, but it looks and it looks phenomenal here. You can't tell, but I feel bad for the collectors who might not want to take the shirt off or who might not want the poncho on. Will the poncho end up doing something weird with the arm where the dyes start rubbing off on either side or on the neck? I don't know. Regardless though, the figure overall outside of the body issues look really good. Another thing that I want to note though is the eye will be battery operated as seen on the sideshow description, which we'll go over after this. It looks good, man. I, I think it looks phenomenal. The custom work for this body and just... It looks really good. The photographers did a great job. The, the eye looks great. I would like to know outside of the Photoshop though, what it looks like. You can tell some of them use their Photoshop skills a little bit differently from one another. So I would personally like to know what that looked like outside of that, but it looks good, man. I've, outside of the proportions, I don't have anything bad to say. It looked like this person sort of brought that arm out of the, um, they brought the forearm out of the bicep there a little bit, sort of bring it in a little closer. You can do this with Darth Maul. These arms can, the forearms can come out. So keep that in mind if uh, if anyone's interested. Again, the photos look great. The uh, the guns look phenomenal. Psionic shield looks good. I'm hoping that that's not going to be similar to the Mark 85 battle damage shield and it's actually part plastic. The poncho looks cool. I think the color of the shirt looks great. You see the photographer didn't uh, really push that arm all the way in there. How do you all feel about the uh, the arms? Do you feel like it should have been double jointed? Do you feel like you should have maybe had a couple options or 
Similar to Thor, actually, where you can probably unplug these. Maybe not the metallic arm, right? Because I don't think you can really make this seamless and make it look good. I think the metallic arm looks great. I think having the joint add a little bit more dimension to it as well, it makes it appear mechanical. But the other arm, I don't know. Like, do you feel like maybe a seamless arm? Maybe uh, for those of you who want to pose them a little bit more, maybe a double joint. Do you feel like this should have been double jointed? Let me know down below to see what you all are thinking so far. Other than that, I mean, again, the figure looks phenomenal. I think uh, for 270 though, we don't have to go over all of the photos. We, we kind of got an idea. For 270, is it worth it? It depend on if you're okay with the proportion size. Everything that they said they were gonna give us, it's here. It's just updated photography. We have the poncho, we have all of the weapons, we have the hands, we have the, uh, the teddy bear. Everything that they mentioned before is here. The portrait looks the same. Me personally, I'm not picking it up, but for 270 and this very long wait time, Deadpool came out in 2018. It's 2022. We don't even know if we'll see Josh Brolin as Cable anymore. Who knows? Because that's a lot of work to get that jacked again. I don't know. I'm going to say it's not worth the price. They could have got the body a little bit better, in my opinion, because maybe I don't want to use the poncho. Feeling obligated to put that poncho on just, it kind of makes me feel a little weird about it because you, you can, this is the source material right here. Here. this is just one photo for us i think they did great with the portrait though I'll, I'll definitely give them that the portrait design looks good it's just the body it's just i know the body is custom but they could have made it a little bit bigger just i'm gonna go ahead and leave it here though do you all think that they dropped the ball a little bit with the wait time how do you feel about the proportions were you gonna pick it up and after seeing the release you just said nope this isn't it let us know down below this is jonathan with boston collectors and we'll catch you on the flippity flop